the first picture I've kind of created is this taking the sustainable topic when we think beyond just the sort of carbon aware sort of side of things. So a lot of things are being built as either carbon, carbon um, you know, they're measuring their carbon footprint or they're carbon aware. In other words, they're looking at when is the electricity grid dirtiest in terms of the fossil fuel mix, uh, in terms of the emissions mix, and they're looking to schedule their workloads when um, you know, electricity is cleaner. Now that's kind of you know, carbon aware. But as I said earlier, the carbon piece is only one part of the equation. So we can expand that out and think about green, so we can start thinking about what's the impact to air quality, what's the impact to um, you know, life on land and responsible consumption. You know, the the um, technology challenge when it comes to environment and sustainability isn't just energy consumption. Clearly that's a big part, but there's also a lot of you know, electronics manufactured, there's lots of servers built, there's lots of air conditioning units kind of created. There's, there's a whole kind of you know set of other considerations when you're running a data center and there's networking and there's a whole host of other things that impact the natural world, which we'll touch on again in a minute. Back to those sustainable development goals then. Where do they map into technology? Where do I see them mapping into technology? And actually, even as late as 10 o'clock last night, I was getting feedback on this on LinkedIn, which was great. So there's some more SDGs on here than there were before. So um, clearly, there's a big energy consumption piece. We've touched, I've touched on that already. You know, kind of um, SDG 7 is all about affordable clean energy. It would be great if all of our technology was, was powered by clean energy. Unfortunately, that's not the reality today. In the UK, our grid mix is probably about 50% renewables on average every year at the moment, which is which is better than some countries, but still, you know, a fair amount of improvement needed. Clearly, there's a linkage there to climate action, you know, um, around the energy consumption. Then there's the big materials piece I was talking about earlier. You know, the, the, the materials we need and the embodied carbon that those materials have. So a server or a laptop. You know, this laptop has. You know, it requires energy, it requires materials to be mined, it, it has a footprint all of its own before it's even started consuming electricity. And it's lifespan, you know, how often do you refresh hardware? Do you refresh hardware when users start complaining about its performance or are you just refreshing it every two, three years because that's just what everyone's always done? And this fast fashion for devices, particularly on the sort of consumer end, you know, the, these, are, these are really bad, you know, these seem to go out of date every couple of years and there's built in obsolescence, right? I mean. Why is it I can no longer replace the battery in this when a couple of generations ago I could replace my own battery? That just seems like a step backwards for me rather than a step forwards. 